Good day. Welcome to another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. Got loaded up here a game called um, something or other. River Raid on Mars, I believe, is what this is called. Uh, my understanding is that this was intended to be an entry in the 2021 ABBUC competition, but it fell afoul of the rules about um, about submitting games, I think modifying modifying existing things is, is is allowed although i don't i don't I, I didn't internalize the rules to be honest but um i think the issue here was that they have the activision logo on it and um it's not something I, the other part might be that it's not something that they developed themselves but rather modified like a commercial game although that part may be maybe wasn't the issue. I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, am I set up right here? Gosh, how would you know? Why am I asking you? All right, I think so. Let's have a look. Can I... Okay, start seems to be the only option. I'm in I'm in Valis. Valis Marinaris, presumably. Okay, those are fuel. You... Towers, I guess, is what you would call those. Water towers, maybe? Or... Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm look. What I'm actually doing is looking at the, uh, the graphics. So they've modified a lot of things. A lot of things. Colors, uh, enemy, sp enemy sprites. If sprites is the right term here. Anyway, the enemies themselves, the backgrounds. Ah, little alien head there. Tanks. Everything pretty much is modified. The ship too. Ah, darn. That was just a mistake. Valis Marinaris. Interesting. I like that. Oh, wait a minute. Valis is probably the number of ships I have. Well, anyway, Valis Marinaris is a gigantic uh, geographic feature on Mars. The likes of which is not to be seen on Earth. It's kind of the opposite of... Uh, Olympus Mons, which is a massive volcano, something like three times the size of, or height rather, of, uh, of um, you know, the famous mountain that everybody wants to climb and dies on, Everest. I think in terms of total size, it's something like the size of France or something like that, and uh, just a massive Massive, massive thing. But, oh, look at that. Gigantic. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Out of fuel. I'm almost out of fuel. How did I manage that? Was I just wantonly shooting fuel tanks? And maybe I was. Ooh. Okay. Maybe a little less creativity in the UFO portion, uh, which would have been originally the jets. They just used the same, the same enemy there. Well, I mean, it, it is basically exactly the same as, almost exactly the same as River Raid. But it's not, a, as hacks go, it's not bad. It plays nicely as, as, as the original. Basically a graphical hack. Primarily game over. Well, this is going to be an awfully short video if I stop here. All right, I'll have another game or two, although basically just playing River Raid, which is fine. It's a nice looking version. I do like the reds and the brown on the side. Kind of reminds me of Commodore. Kidding, kidding, kidding. I'm kidding. Don't, don't write me hateful comments. Anyway, I do like the color scheme and the sort of the dome habitat things on the side. That's kind of clever. Oh, and here's sort of a more of a sandy looking section, I guess. Or at least earth sand tones. I'm not sure what the sand tones are like on Mars. Seems to me there's one area that's got sort of a bluish tone to it. Oh, it's always hard to know if uh, the images you see are true color or if they're false color, just sort of modified for better presentation of some form of information that scientists like, or for aesthetics, for uh, non 
scientists, I guess. It's often done false colors, or not false colors, but color mapping of, uh, you know, things that are imaged not in the visible light spectrum. Obviously visible from the human point of view. And, uh, like the space, like the images coming out of the James Webb, for example. James Webb is essentially, a, well, it's got a bunch of different instruments on it, but infrared is its focus, and uh, I should have maybe got that fuel. And so they sort of take uh, a uh, slice of the infrared spectrum that the telescope is observing in, and then map it to the visible light spectrum. And man, they're getting some, they're making some spectacular images. Um, the Pillars of Creation, as it's called. There was a new one released just recently. Uh, this video won't be out for a week or two, but in uh, in real time, it is for me. It is the uh, what is it? November twenty sixth, I guess, twenty twenty two. And uh, there's been some one in particular that I saw. Doctor Becky, one of the greatest science communicator astrophysicists going on YouTube these days. Did a nice uh, feature on it. What was that? Not sure what that noise was. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I do better when I'm just blathering on talking. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that guy coming. Little rocky peak type things off on one side there. Just as I died before that bridge. Does the color scheme shift on the fly? So I thought the level I was just playing was sort of a dark red or dark brown. Hmm, maybe not. There's an extra player. Gotta try to get these guys. plan to work around them. Oh, that's the nuclear explosion sound, I guess. Ah, oh, that felt like I should have not died there. You can't actually tell if one of these one of these uh, flying UFOs crosses in front of cro starts in the valley where you're sh where you're flying. You can't tell if it's a uh, if it's one that goes all the way across, or if it's one that bounces off the wall. That might be a... I suppose that might be a deliberate choice on the part of the makers. If so, it's not, not bad. Oh, there's a nice looking crater there. Oh, my goodness. That set me back to the previous level where when I'd already gone into the next one that feels like that's what happened there well, maybe not oh no maybe not gonna need me some fuel I don't know if these levels are exactly the same as uh, River Raid or not if they've modified that I would have to actually fire up River Raid and do some comparisons I guess I did. I make an, a, a twin, uh, an eight-bit River Raid video. I made a I made a River Raid video. I don't remember if it was eight-bit or or. Uh, oh, we got the shooty guys now. They're nice and nice. Whoa, no! Oh, escaped that one. Ah, dark nargit. Maybe I'll avoid Mr. Shooty Guy. Ah, uh, maybe I won't, because there's fuel over there. There we go. Oh, we got little rover type things. <laughs> I do like this. This is a nice, uh... This is a nice, uh, version of the game. Uh, oop. Darn it. Nice, respectful... Clever, good graphics. Hack, I think is the proper term for this. Homebrew hack, River Raid on Mars. Didn't even notice that before. By Mat Matthias Dimitrov. 
Activision 2021. There you go. So not an entrant in the software contest, but still released. Carol Shaw 1983, of course, the original programmer of River Raid. Amazing game at the time and still holds up today as a game. All right, that'll do it for my look at River Raid on Mars. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.